Hello everyone, welcome back to fitness. I just did the bicep. No, I did that yesterday. Well, looks a little bit pumped. Uh, sorry. Hello everyone, welcome back to fitness, nutrition and soul channel. And this is your friend Robin. So I was just sitting in the decking and doing my studying. So I just thought to make a video about it. So I just thought to make a video about the balance start and the importance of it. So for example, the nutrition has portrayed out in the media or with the help of the uh, different uh, 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 different researches it has become very confused so one day you think that um, for example this thing is good for you and the next day it tell that it tells you they're not it's not good for you so it is becoming very complex and um, and people are getting really confused but what I have found in my studies is that um, nutrition should not be a really actually too complex uh, first of all we need to understand that why do we need the nutrition so your body starts with only a single cell and from single cells it turns into the close to the hundred trillion cells so then which is phenomena on its own and then we got the different stages of the life from the from the preconception then to the, the uh, um, infant and then to the uh, early childhood middle childhood adolescent early uh, um, uh, early adulthood middle adulthood and then this and then the um, later stage of the life which is above 65 or 70 i'm not sure so at every stage we you need the nutrition so for it's just not about the weight loss or the weight gain you know it's just not about like you know uh, lose two uh, five kilos or gain five kilos or whatever the things out there you need to understand that the first of all that the nutrition is divided into the um, macronutrients and the micronutrients so your macro, the three uh, major macronutrients, so one is protein, second one is carbs, and the third one is fat. So you pretty much, your body needs, uh, that's all, then it's the calories. So your body needs the calories to perform, and then the protein needs for, the, for certain functions of the body, and so is the fat, and that's why some of the amino acids are called essential amino acids, because your body needs to perform certain functions in the body, which is either making the hormones or either to, um, to make some important things in the body and, and and then the carbs is not called essential however it's still needed to provide us the energy and then you need the fiber for the um, uh, 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 for your wall movement and to prevent the constipation and so on and um, so and then you need your vitamins and the minerals and uh, so without going too much into each things I just want to highlight the why the, the balance are in so important and um, what happens is that people don't think the, uh, the the diet about the long term. All they think about is that how to lose the ten gains or how to gain the ten kilos of weight in in, in a shortest period of time period. But studies after studies has been um, proved that any short term um, um, diet it doesn't give you the result in the long term. For example. What they have found is that, for example, dropping the carbohydrates um, for the short term might help you to lose the weight. But in the long term, in the matters of the two years, three years, it doesn't give you the whole lot of benefits. So I'm talking about that in terms of the staying healthy for the long term so that you make a diet plan and then you just follow it. It should be very simple. You have made a diet plan and you can stick for the rest of the life. Just keep changing the variety. So, for example, look at like according to the country check out what are the what's the recommendation for example in australia it's recommended to have six serves of grains six serves of veggies two serves of fruit two and a half serves of um, dairy and so on so what you can do is uh, you can combine all that in your diet plan making sure you're eating the right amount of the calories your body needs depending on the physical activity and so on so for example in my diet i take the carbohydrates from different sources instead of taking from one source i take it from sweet potato rice you know oats and so on and fruits and vegetables and i try to have like uh, four to six serves of vegetables and, and two serves of dairy and so and in my calories are actually been also designed according to that and uh, so whatever my goal is for example if i want to get lean then I, what i will do my, i will keep every pretty much the more my diet pretty much remains the same um throughout the year now which was never before i just like from the last eight to ten months so what I do is just I change the quantity, but the actual food 
doesn't change a whole lot for example if i want to put the bit of weight on in building muscle i might increase the um let me go away so for example if i want to put the muscle mass then i might increase the carbs a little bit but protein i'm not now trying to keep it remain this keep it same throughout the year just maybe slightly increase or decrease um and, and, and it's so same with the fat i tried not to change a whole lot uh, again just like 10 grams here and then up and down but carbohydrates is the one which i'm manipulating the more than anything else and um so but i'm meeting all the balanced diet i'm, I'm, I'm making sure that i'm i'm eating enough um, amount of the i'm eating 30 at least 30 grams of the fiber i'm making sure that i'm eating right amount of the carbs right amount of the protein right amount of the essential fatty acids acids right amount of the macronutrients from the different sources from different uh, 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 sources uh, such as from the different type of fruits I, I vary my food on everyday basis like for example from the berries from i vary my berries from the raspberries to the blackberries to the blueberries to the and then to the other fruits such as apple banana uh, pears and so on orange and same with the vegetables from the carrots broccoli cauliflower and different things like that and in in same with the, another carb source from sweet potato to rice and things like that but, but the reason is by doing that i'm actually incorporating more macronutrient in my diet um and i'm not actually making my life very restrictive and and, and that, that's the importance of it uh, so don't make the don't make the diet really really complicated just set the plan follow the plan for the long term then making sure you're including a lot of rot in it so you're meeting you're getting all the macro and the micronutrients for this for pretty much for all the functions in the body so uh, including the the hormones your energy yielding to um, neurotransmitters to um, um, healing the body and repairing and uh, um, and so other functions in the body and uh, by doing that actually you, you don't your life wouldn't be that complicated you don't have to change your your, your diet throughout the you don't have to change the diet like after every three months or six months all you gotta do is like your diet can be the same all you can all you gotta do is just increase or decrease the the quantity of the food depending upon the um depending upon the um, your goal so um just to um uh, finish this video i would like to say make sure that your diet is really well balanced rather than eliminating one thing one macro special like for example eliminating the fats or the carbs or whatever out there that's not really good for you in the long term so just make sure that you should include four to six serves of the veggies two serves of fruits two and a half serves of the dairy two to three serves of the meat or other sources of the proteins from lentils beans tofu whatever you want uh, uh, and make sure you are meeting all the requirement and that's it and then you can keep that for months and years and and and, and, and then depending upon the age uh, i will put the uh, website below that uh, sometimes uh, depending on your age some of the micronutrients and the macronutrients change and uh, and then according to that you can adjust a little bit and um, there's so many apps out there now guys just download the fitness pal or anything out there and it tells you all the macronutrients and stuff like that and if you're meeting your macronutrients or not and what other things you can add to meet the um, um, more micronutrients i hope this video helped you guys um if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do it now and if you have any questions please put it uh in the comment below and uh keep um supporting me and thanks for your love and thanks again guys have a good one thanks